Lance Corporal Morgan Winotka, 0411 Maintenance Management Specialist, Marine Wing Communication Squadron 28. I joined the Marine Corps June 7th, 2020. I joined the Marine Corps to better myself and to give me something to be proud of. The Marine Corps has treated me well and has given me every opportunity that I could look for. I was on my way home to Tecumseh, Oklahoma for holiday leave. When my time came up to leave to go back to Cherry Point, on my way back, I was driving through Memphis, Tennessee, stopped at a gas station just outside at around 3.30 walked up to the store to a commotion and somebody had been stabbed. What initially went through my head was that I thought it was just another fight in a gas station, but it actually turned out to be much more serious than what I originally thought. The actions that I took initially was to assess the situation and to get an understanding of what happened. As soon as I saw what happened, I knew exactly what I needed to do and that I needed to implement myself into the situation. The first step I took was to evaluate the man that had been stabbed and I had seen that he had cut on his head and a cut running down his leg and a cut on his stomach. I assured the man that he was okay and that I was going to come, leave and come back with my individual first aid kit and bandage him up as best as I could. When I returned with my medical kit, I initially went straight to his leg because it was gushing the most blood. I put a tourniquet on his leg and then immediately wrapped it in combat gauze and bandages. The wound on his stomach, he had already got covered up with a towel from one of the customers inside of the store, so I told him not to remove the towel in case that the blood would start flowing again. The wound on his head was not sufficient enough to where that it needed real medical attention. It was more or less just a scratch. The man was more or less confused on what exactly had happened because he had done nothing in his life to deserve something like that. I took a quick mental note of exactly what the vehicle looked like and exactly what he was saying so that way I could give the police a statement and a description of his vehicle. I had a couple customers get around me gather up some gloves, paper towels, and ice bags. I had adrenaline like crazy. Um, my hands wouldn't sit still. I was shaking. I was breathing hard. Uh, I was forgetting simple steps, but I remembered my training and I stayed calm. I learned most of this in boot camp, just simple first aid combat care. Several minutes went by until the paramedics arrived and through that time I was talking to him, keeping him calm, reassuring him that he was going to be okay. He was very thankful. He told me that I was a godsend and that I was his saving grace and that he didn't know what would happen if I hadn't been there. When the police arrived on scene, they first asked who exactly bandaged him up, and I raised my hand. They told me that I did a good job with the tourniquet and uh, stopping the bleeding. I stayed there till about 6 o'clock. What sticks out to me the most is how I can't understand how people can live with just such hate and evil inside their hearts. For my help that day, I received the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. My advice to other Marines is to always take your training seriously and to always keep calm in serious situations like this because you never know if you have to bandage up your buddy or a random person at a gas station in the middle of Memphis. I told my family that I had possibly saved someone's life. My family is very proud of me.